<laughs> this is the worst night ever. Everything about this movie has made me feel so uncomfortable. I think that's the point. Yeah. Hello, welcome on back to You, Me, and the Movies. Tonight, we got a special request. Special request. Granddaddy Justin. Coming in hot. What are we watching? Martin Scorsese's comedy, After Hours. All right, comedy. Love yeah, it. Here's what Justin has to say about it. I decided to officially request After Hours from 1985. I think you both will enjoy it and find it interesting. In my opinion, it's the second best film of 1985 after Back to the Future. Some interesting bits of trivia. Martin Scorsese actually consulted with Steven Spielberg, Brian Del Palma, and Terry Gilliam on how to end the film. Also, he told the lead actor, Griffin Dune, to refrain from sleep during filming so he would have a more realistic state of paranoia. Oh, jeez. You'll remember Griffin Dune as the friend Jack in An American Werewolf in London. Okay. So, yeah. Justin was able to snag our temporary special request slot yeah. that opened for August. Because August had and he, five. He was able to snag that during our last live stream. Weeks. If you want to be able to get your own chance to snag the temporary special request slot, the next time we have five Wednesdays in a month is November. So that means November. for our October live stream. Make sure you're there. Yeah, join and us ready in ready to October pull the trigger on our live stream. You might get a chance to snag a special request slot that opens for November. Whenever, sometime during our October live stream. So mark your calendars, right? For sometime in October. <laughs> <laughs> put an alarm. Put it. Put it on your calendar. Every Saturday in October. It, put it, it could on be your one calendar. of our live streams. <laughs> so yeah. Well, should we? Uh, you know, turn off the lights and. Heading to After Hours? I don't know about turning off the lights, but thank you, Justin, for selecting After Hours. Yeah. And if you want to be like Justin, you can like, comment, subscribe, or... Check out our Patreon. Link down below. You also get early access, full and comfort, and access, polls, and people next. Links down there. Check it out. We also have social media, so if you like it, join us. And if you don't, it's all right. Yeah. It's cool. Let's watch After Hours. Here we go. Tommy Chong. Cheech Marin. Oh shit. Catherine O'Hara. Cheech and Chong are in this. What are the chances? Refresh the screen here. All right, and go in a format roller. Word processing and like before DOS. Oof. Mm. It's still better than typewriter. Because you could delete. I guess it's more than that. Yeah, you got it. Another week, you have it down. It's temporary anyway. Hmm? I said it's temporary anyway. I do not intend to be stuck doing this for the rest of my life. Okay. Because what I really want to do is, uh, I really like to get into publishing. You know? I thought he was going to get into fashion as such. <laughs> Different movie. Oh. Yeah, he's like, that guy isn't going to be here very long, he says. I've probably been here for how many years? <laughs> Is that a remote control? Oh, it might be. Like preset channels? Yeah. You know, he used to kiss himself after he ate a good meal. It's mostly, uh... Let me ask you. Does that cashier seem a little weird to you? He keeps making these strange movements. He's practicing his dance moves. Yeah. It's like a ballerina or something. You want another coffee? No, I'm going to head over to my friend's house. Which way are you headed? Downtown Seoul. She's a sculptress. Lately, she's been making these plaster of Paris bagels and cream cheese. Hmm. How much are they? I don't know. Well, if you think you might be interested, her number's 243-3460. 243-3460. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, can I borrow your pen? Nailed it. I was just over at a good friend of mine. Actually, we had a terrible argument. That's too bad. I mean, do you think I should try to make up? Well, I don't know. I mean, you know, some, maybe you're better off. You know, Move on so you can date him. Maybe you should come on over. Sure. Sure. No? 
Nothing good happens after midnight. It's only 11.30. In 45 minutes, it'll be after midnight, and he's going to be there. I think he's going to turn into a gremlin or something. Maybe. He's got a no shit handle. Yeah, no kidding. Oh my god. Excuse me. They're already like five blocks away from where it flew out, too, so. My money just flew out the window. I, I put it in this cradle and, I, and you went so fast around that corner that I don't have any. Um, what I'm saying is, I don't have any money. <laughs> That guy's face. Don't taxi drivers make more if the trip's longer? It depends on the... Depends on the, how make. their fare system works. Maybe he doesn't care. He's paid by the hour or something. Paid by the mile. Paid by the... Yeah, paid by the hour. Your cat. Ooh, boy. Well, there wasn't anything breakable. Interesting on shot. Hi. A paperweight. I like that. It's horrifying. Is Marcy here? <clears throat> she had to um, go out to the all-night drugstore. She all right? Condoms. It's under control. <laughs> it's under. It's under control. What's that mean? I don't know. Her breakout. <laughs> it's not hard. <laughs> what are you talking about? She's from Gotcha. Yeah. It's your problem, Marcy. I'm not going to tell him. I'm not mm. telling him. She went to her boyfriend's. Look what you did to your shirt. Oh, good. Give it to me. I'll throw it in the wash. Oh, that's all right. Come on. You want to look nice for your big date, don't you? 12-15 date. Is this in New York? The city never sleeps. Want a massage? You read my mind. Would you? Is he walking right into a threesome and he doesn't even know it? God, wouldn't that be nice? You have a great body. Yes. Not a lot of scars. It's true. <laughs> Interesting fact. I mean, some women I know are covered with them head to toe. Not me. Marcy? Is Marcy covered in scars? Damn. I saw. <laughs> That's impressive. It's a really good massage. I guess so. It's like the ones I give you. I'm already laying down when you're giving me the massage, though, usually. You always fall asleep. And it's not really a massage, it's just a back scratch, but... Well, I made it. You wouldn't. I'm here. Uh. What'd you do to her? What now? <laughs> she was tired. What do you mean, what did I do to her? Easy, easy. It was an innocent question. I'm gonna take a quick shower. I'll be right back, okay? Uh, I mean, I think a shower probably do you good. I mean, you had a tough day. <laughs> I knew there was something special about you. This is weird. I feel like something incredible is really going to happen here. <laughs> I feel so excited. I don't know why. I feel it. <laughs> Are we sure this isn't a horror movie? Uh, I don't know. If you want to smoke a joint, there's a couple in there. Feel free. Uh, no, maybe later. Shots are interesting. So Rosanna or Patricia? Ah. Or Kat. It's her the, kid's sister. That little one's her kid's sister? Yeah. Mm. David's yeah. two sisters. Is Marcy there? Uh, she can't come to the phone right now. Can I take a message? Did you just tell her Greg called? Is she back? Oh. Welcome on back. Do you mean the boobies? 
she hoping to get? Kind of seems like it. <laughs> Second degree burns. Or she have burns? I don't know. There's just people having sex in the window behind him. More boobies. What, Paul? What? What'd you say? I didn't say anything. She must have heard you. This morning I thought I heard you say something in here. More boobies. Nothing. I, I think you're very nice. I do. Could we just talk a little while? Of course. You invited him over at midnight. It's almost 2 a.m. How'd that little faggot find out I was staying here tonight? Probably wants to whine to me about his latest boyfriend. <laughs> friends like that are hard to deal with sometimes. Well, that's what friends are for. I know. She's a little unhinged, I think. Mm -hmm. I was raped once. As a matter of fact, it happened right here in this room. Great. He came in through there off the fire escape. <sighs> held a knife to my throat and said if I made any noise he'd cut my tongue out. He tied me to the bed. Run away. This time. Right? Six hours. Run away. Six hours. Run away. To tell you the truth, I slept in most of it. What? <laughs> it's, he's like wait, Run away. What? Can I get some coffee? I feel like getting out of here. Absolutely. Is her friend still available? Is that his 20? Yeah. Who's Franklin? Franklin? Franklin is my husband. My husband was a movie freak. Actually, he was particularly obsessed with one movie, The Wizard of Oz. He talked about it constantly. It's a good one. Yeah, I know somebody that's obsessed with it too. And we made love whenever he, you know, when he came. He'd just scream out, surrender Dorothy. <laughs> I just broke the whole thing off. Yeah, that's kind of weird. This this whole situation's weird. This whole movie so far is weird. Give the check. It's on the house. Really? Sure, what the hell. Different rules apply when it gets this late, you know what I mean? It's like uh, after hours. <laughs> Thanks, Peter. Sure, Marcy. Have a good evening. That's the name of the movie. <laughs> Why did he just wink at her? She comes there a lot. It's weird. My Wizard of Oz sex phrase is, there's no place like home. Gross. He still wants to just hit it, huh? She's going to be a crazy. She's going to be a crazy. You should go. He should he should go. This is like quintessential man will do anything to get laid. Even hang around with a crazy lady. I've already seen like a dozen red flags of don't stick your dick in crazy. Though. Right? Oof. So how about that joint? Yeah. He, I mean, he's now like... I'm going to need to be high to have sex with her. She just looked at that candle and flame really awkwardly. I know, is she going to light the place on fire? Oh, 
It's a huge flame on that candle. Yeah. What type of pot is this? It's Colombian. That's a lie. What? This isn't Colombian. It's oregano. That's horse shit. Are you all right? Where are those plaster of Paris paperweights anyway? I mean, that's what I came down here for in the first place. Well, that's not entirely true. I came to see you. But where are the paperweights? That's what I want to see now. He's turning crazy on, too. What's in that weed? They're in Kiki's bedroom. Then get them. Because as we sit here chatting, there are important papers flying rampant around my apartment because I don't have anything to hold them down with. Fine. He's like, she's crazy. I'm going to have to throw crazy back in order to get the hell out of here. Yeah, he was just getting her out of the room so he could run. I've got 97 cents. No. Would you just give me a break? I really just want to go home. I'm sorry. I can't do that. I could lose my job. Well, who would, who would know exactly? I could go to a party, get drunk, talk to someone. Who knows? Just give me a goddamn token. No, goddammit, I cannot give you a token. Those tokens are dull and a half. I can't sell for 97 cents. We lose money that way. Right, Can you give him 53 cents out of your pocket to help him out? Thanks a lot. Must be a full moon out there. Is that an American werewolf in London joke? <laughs> Must be. <laughs> You only have 97 cents. What are you going to do in a bar? Catherine O'Hara. Is that Catherine O'Hara? No. Catherine O'Hara is um, Home Alone mom. And that's Home Alone dad behind the bar. Can I get you something? I have 97 cents. Hmm. Water? Ooh. That's graphic. It's just like one man's like one female proposition after another. I don't know. Guy lives in the same building as me. He's been by here three times already tonight to tell me about three separate burglaries in this neighborhood all tonight. Everything I own is yours. Keep them. Okay, all right, good. Uh, 158 Spring, top floor. I'm gonna be right back. This feels like bad news bears. Yeah. That burglar's gonna be hitting this guy's house when he walks in or something. Sweet iguana. Toms? Tom who? There are three Toms living in this building. Look, guys, I'm not a burglar, so get your hands off me. He gave me the keys. Look. Look, see this? He gave me the keys, and I let myself in. Do you think he reset the alarm? The model come in. Hey, where'd you get that? Oh, Chicha Chong are the burglars? Yeah. And they were stealing that art thing. Gone back to Crazy's house. Yes. Oh. What have they done? 
It's an interesting outfit. Sailors, look at this work. It's so elaborate. <laughs> How did you get a hold of my sculpture? Oh shit. Crazy's back. Oh. Kiki's into weird shit. Don't untie her. This is a game that they're playing. That was rude of you before, Paul. You really ought to be ashamed of yourself. I am. <laughs> it's not too late to finish what you started. Marcy? Oh. And Paul. God, no. Just go. Um, no. God. I owe you an apology. <laughs> no, you don't. She was real crazy. She even awake? No. I don't know. Maybe the timing's just off or something. But um, is she dead? Kind of looks like it. Bye. Oh god, she OD'd. They killed her. She's putting cream on a tattoo. Right? Looks like it. No burns there. <laughs> Doesn't seem suspicious at all. When burglar's gonna break in there. Because he... Kept it open. Where the hell is it? You know, I live across the street. Would you like a TV dinner? Oh, wait a minute! Leo! Pepe! Wait a minute! I didn't know! Hey, speed up! Speed up! That's that dude again, man. Get out of here. <laughs> For a comedy, it's not very funny. It's a dark comedy. Yeah. It's a comedy of errors. Yeah. He's having a rough day. How many of misfortunes? Mm -hmm. Just waiting for them to open up downstairs. I'll just get my keys and go home. Just let it go, honey. Tell me your problems. I don't think so. Yeah. What are you talking about? Come on, tell me your problems. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Jesus. <laughs> Mouse traps are under bed. Just got a mouse problem, or just a paranoia. I work in the Xerox shop downstairs. Downstairs? A lousy job, but I can get free copies whenever I want to. Look, I have trouble figuring out the tax on checks. So what? I mean, eight percent is a bitch. So I make a few mistakes. So I make a few mistakes. So sorry. Yeah, that's why I think sales tax should never go over five cents. Calculating eight percent would be hard. Yeah. Gotta keep it in fives. Right? Like 10%, sure. That's still too high, though. Yeah, that is too high. Do you like my hairdo? Yes. Yes, I do. Why don't you touch it? What? <laughs> I, you want me to? Yeah. She uses a lot of hairspray. There's a shit ton on top of that uh, shelf that she's got in her kitchen. Oh, I hear him. Oh, him. Oh, I hear him. Oh, That's him. Oh, I hear him. I hear him. I hear him. No, no, it's okay. You know, I really got the feeling that, that you kind of like me now. Oh, God. I mean, you're not going to leave now, not after I brought you in out of the rain, are you? Yeah. Let it go. To the bar, give your boss back his keys, and I'm gonna get my keys, and then I'll be back, okay? Yeah, sure. Julie, two minutes. You don't happen to have any powerful aphrodisiacs back there, do you? You won't put out, huh? <laughs> One of your cocktail waitresses. Miss Beehive, 1965. <laughs> don't even ask me how. So take off. What's she gonna do, kill herself? Oh god. <laughs> One girl's already done that tonight because of him. Yeah. 
been way longer than two minutes at this point. Where did the keys go? My girlfriend just killed herself a little while ago. It's my fault. <laughs> Marcy, Marcy, Marcy. <laughs> Is it his fault? I bet they both played a role in that. <laughs> he was just the last straw in the back. Yeah. I don't know what to say. What can you say? After all, it wasn't your fault. <laughs> you said that you were going to come back, and you did. And these days, that is something to be commended and rewarded. What the fuck? This is a plaster of Paris bagel and cream cheese paperweight. I bought it from a local artist. <laughs> you all right? Why do you keep asking me that, huh? What's with you? Are you nuts or something? Maybe. My number is 54433. Four, three. Very easy to remember. 54433. Three. Mm -hmm. three. mm -hmm. Not enough numbers, but okay. 54433. Five, no, oh. KL54433. Okay. KL? What? Oh, God. Wait, get that away from me. Jesus. What is this? Yeah, he probably closed to go see his girlfriend. Why wouldn't he have gotten his keys before he left? The bar. I don't think he wanted to bother the guy. That makes me sick. You know, that statue was the first thing in my life I ever bought. See what happens when you pay for stuff? Somebody rips it off. They don't go around stealing shit. Yeah. The lenses are gone. The whole thing. Did you call your insurance I don't have insurance. Besides which, it's that guy again. Hey! Don't let him get away. I'm gonna order something, really. I, I just wanna use your bathroom, okay? He could he have walked ha home three times by now. He doesn't have his keys, he doesn't have his, any money. Uh, menu's on that table. Uh, make yourself comfortable. They set it up for you. He's 93 cents. I'm just gonna go put a quarter in the meter in my car. And, uh, see, I'll have a burger, medium rare, coffee. <laughs> He's going to end up back in that diner. The burger and a coffee waiting for him. Is that what you want? Money? Why didn't you just ask for that in the first place, man? Here. It's not much, but it's all I've got. You keep the quarter. You still have to wait a few minutes. <laughs> you really want to go inside? Yes, you know, it's very important. I've got people in there. They're expecting me. Why don't you just let me in? So that bouncer actually like protecting him from a crazy night at this club. Doubt it. This looks like your crowd. My crowd? Yeah. Nah. Marcy's dead. with the Russian general? I don't know. Hello? No, what? Hello? Don't go back there! There to take the $20 bill off the statue. Whole apartment complex is looking for him now because he's they think he's the burglar. There's Catherine O'Hara. Shit. Great. Look, I got the money back. Look at that. Isn't that great? Now you can take me uptown. Great. I'll be right back. See how you like it. Great. I feel terrible. Look, why don't you come with me and uh, I'll get you a bandage. Is she like a gym teacher? Neighborhood watch. 
just got a whistle. You wouldn't believe what I've been through tonight. You just wouldn't believe it. Oh, I'm a, I'm an ice cream vendor, Mr. Softy. It's not boring. And I have my own Mr. Softy truck. It's not. It's what not the boring. fuck? This is why I like small town girls. Less crazy. Wow. It's crazy in a different way. Subjective. Five, eight, one, nine, six, two. Crazy bitch. Five, eight. Six, oh my six, god. Eight, nine, nine, three, eight. He's gonna punch her. He's gonna punch her in the face. What is wrong with you? Are you alright? <laughs> Uh, there is a place on Spring Street. I could stay there, but I don't want yeah, to. Yeah, why not? Because a bartender who lives there, his girlfriend, killed herself tonight. And I think it's because of me. I see. That's out then. That's right, that's out. <laughs> <laughs> a man was torn limb from limb by an irate limb limb? mob last Talk night about. in the fashionable Soho area of Manhattan. And his entire face was pummeled completely beyond recognition. Okay, forget that. Whoa! Forget that. Is that a... Uh... Premonition? I know, I'll burn it off. No, you're not gonna no. burn it off. Matches, I just need matches. No, no anyway, matches. No matches, no matches. That's enough now. Where are you going? He's running away from you. Listen, I like you, and I don't know why. We're... Why don't I give you a ride home in my Mr. Saucy truck? How's that sound? Okay. Sounds better than being in her apartment, I think. Huh? I was gonna say he's a burglar. It's a picture of him. You're dead, pal. I'm what? Gail. Gail, what are you doing? What's wrong? What, Gail? That's him over there with the whistle. That's him. Get him. Oh shit. <laughs> this is the worst night ever. Everything about this movie has made me feel so uncomfortable. Well, I think that's the point. Yeah. Ice cream truck full of neighborhood watch people looking for him. Ah! You witnessed a murder now. I'll probably get blamed for that. <laughs> Run in the direction of your home. Where do you live? Can you take me? Can you take me home? Because there, there's certain things that I, you know, I, I, I will not do. I'm telling you in advance. He mm, thinks he's propositioning him. <laughs> I have never done this with a man before, and I, I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm being persecuted by a vigilante mob. I'm sure you're aware of their actions. Yeah, right. Now, evidently, there's a series of, of, of robberies that are being conducted in, in this neighborhood. <laughs> Sleep, and uh, hello, hello. Let's get some sleep, buddy. So what happened? Why can't you? All right. I met this girl tonight. Okay. In a oh, so I left. I tried to take a subway tonight, but the fare went up. Did you know that? That the fare went up. Yes. You knew that? I didn't know that. <laughs> Inexcusable. So I marched right in there to apologize, but she'd already killed herself. I was too late. <laughs> so I... Because the same girl. Who I came downtown to see was dead too. That's because they're the same person. I couldn't believe that. Now he didn't know that I knew that I came down to, you know, his girlfriend. Because I mean, he would have, he would have taken my face and he would have, he would have just smashed it. <laughs> about it too. Let me use the phone. That was it. Just use it. Pick it up and put it down. Pick it up and put it down. <laughs> Julie, Julie, it's me. What are you doing? Come here. Oh God, that's the one. That's the one. She's the one putting up the signs. You think that guy believed his story at all? No. She gets free photocopies, too. Yeah. Listen to me. There's an angry mob out there, and they want to kill me because they think I'm robbing apartments. All right, stay here. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going? To get your keys. Just go ahead. Go ahead. I'll be right here. Just relax. I will. I will. Sorry. The diner guy's going to come out. I was like... Get out of here! 
Yeah, he also saw him with his dead girlfriend, too. That was the other guy. I don't know if you saw him with Marcy. There's his cheeseburger and coffee ordered. Oh, God. He's going back to Club Berlin for the private party. Yep. It's got to be almost dawn at this point. That's probably only like three. And where is everybody? It's me. Must have stayed home. He's not even wearing his shirt. His shirt's still in. Yeah. That was his last quarter to him. Gonna try to seduce her for a ride home. Or a place to sleep. Care to uh join me for a drink? He looks rough. I mean he looks exhausted. I can't seem to find anyone who just sit with me for just without yelling at me or something. Was she the lady dancing at the bar with that one dude in the background when he was there the first time? I don't know. I feel like that's the same shirt. Is that the mob looking in the window? Yeah. To live. Okay, sorry folks. Closing up. I just... Time to go home. What? Downstairs with me. She owned the bar? <laughs> the club? <gasps> Jesus Christ. Now he's got a disguise. So move, I don't Turning him into a model. She's turned him into conceptual art to get him out of there. Yeah. Doesn't look so hard. <laughs> Let me out of this thing. Now. Do you hear me? Let me out. Oh no. I just want to go upstairs and check and see if they're still there. Be right back. Oh god. They're gonna think it's his art and they're gonna take him. <laughs> it's my sculpture! Hey man, be careful with it, huh? The uglier the art, the more it's worth. Well, this must be worth a fortune, man. That's right. <laughs> no man, a stereo is a stereo. Art is forever. <laughs> You're getting closer to his house, though, yeah? You, you think so? It's his office. It's his office. He's the first one there. Looks like the same office they used in uh, Wolf of Wall Street. <laughs> kind of. Terry Gar, that's who Julia yeah. was, Sam. Dick Miller was the waiter that saw them at the diner first. All right. That was a hell of a night. It was the most bizarre movie, and it made me so anxious the whole time. I was so uncomfortable. Yeah. I mean, I think that's the point. Yeah. 
You're supposed to feel as his, paranoid yeah, and anxious as he is. Stress, yeah. <laughs> they nailed it. <laughs> what an unfortunate, unfortunate sequence of events. Yeah. It wasn't laugh out loud funny. I mean, it's just a comedy of dark comedy. Yeah. yeah. Comedy of tragedies, comedy of errors. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, lots of uh, familiar faces in this. Yeah. So that's fun. Yeah. I'm trying to think. This was early in Scorsese's career, but I know he had a big hit before this. I love that Kevin McAllister's mom and dad were in it. Yeah. <laughs> Because he did Taxi Driver before this. And this and he did a, a lot, probably, before this, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Taxi Driver was like 10 years before this. That was his first big movie. And then Raging Bull, 1980. So, yeah. But kind of a different film than I'm used to from Scorsese. Usually he does like a biopic kind of, you know, epic. Mm-hmm. Where he tells us kind of a fictionalized or embellished true story kind of thing right, right? well it's, maybe this one's just an embellished true story yeah, that well, really of, happened of to one guy guy's really bad night it's like you won't believe yeah. the <laughs> night i had yeah so yeah yeah i don't whatever happened to this actor i don't know griffin dunn griffin dunn because yeah, i was just thinking man he was in this and american werewolf in london he's still alive he's in my girl Oh, okay. Practical, Practical magic. magic. Oh, the accidental husband. You love that one. But yeah, I mean, these are his two big movies are American Werewolf in London and After Hours. Those were his starring roles. That was it. So yeah. Hmm. Interesting. He must just produce. I mean, he produced this, so he must just produce and direct nowadays, right? It's kind of what he got into. Could be. So, yeah. Interesting. You can definitely. I could see the Scorsese in it, though. Lots of moving camera shots and, you know, just unique. There's some interesting, style. yeah, like things that camera you angles and yeah. other films, but he kind of like does his own thing. Like unnecessary zoom ins. Yeah, or split second speed ups. Yeah. So I thought it was pretty good. I definitely seen worse. Yeah. He did pretty good. I mean, I you could see the fact that. He didn't get sleep during the shooting of this. Yeah. Oh, God. He looked I w- exhausted. I wonder if they filmed it in chronological order for that effect. So that by the time we got to the final scenes, he was, I mean, he looked exhausted. Haggard, and he was talking yeah. in June there at the, Could ball, be. at the club. So, yeah. That was funny. Could be. Cheech and Chong doing all the crime in the neighborhood that he gets yeah. blamed for. Gotta love it. And that girl commits suicide. That happens to be the bartender's girlfriend. girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> just, he, I mean, he never got his keys them. back. That guy knows his address too because he gave him his keys, right? Yeah. Doesn't I wonder? Doesn't have an address slip on it I too? I think so. Yeah. So that mob could end up finding him the next night. Oh well. Yeah. What was the most stress-inducing scene? Honestly, the first, like, the first time he was in the girl's apartment with Marcy, the first conversation. Yeah, when she starts like it was so weird. uncomfortable. Like, yeah. what the fuck is wrong with her? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, she was crazy. And he doesn't realize he needs to get out. It, 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 I feel like it didn't click until he t- took a puff of that joint, and I was like, this isn't weed. Yeah. I, I Yep, I don't know. He stayed far too long. Yeah. And then this whole night went to shit. Like you that. said, there was like 12 red flags before they even yeah. left the apartment to go to that restaurant for coffee. <laughs> And then there was like five more red flags. There was red flags before she even got back to the apartment. Like, as her friend being so flirtatious with him was like, it was weird. What kind of group are you getting tangled up with here, Mm -hmm. bud? So, all right. Well, what should people comment on after after hours? Most stress inducing part of the film for you. Yeah. Yeah. What caused you the most anxiety? And what did you find the most funny? And who was the craziest woman? Yeah, which woman was the craziest? Yeah, Julie. Who was the coaches? Marcy, Julie, or Mr. Frosty? Yeah. Softy? Soft, Mr. Softy. Mr. Softy lady? Did we even learn her name? I don't think, I don't think so. So, yeah, who was the most... Or, I mean, June, or June. was even crazy. Yeah, she might have little... kept him as art. I think uh, she yeah. was going to. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Who I was, was half wondering lady? if maybe she was the one that was in the article about, like, the disembodied people people and like i just think that was a mob that 
found another guy that just happened to have a bad night and mm, ripped could apart. Have been. And could he was afraid, oh crap, that's going to be me now. Yeah. So, yeah, who was the craziest lady? And let us know anything else you know or feel about after hours. Yeah. Right. And thank you, Justin. Yeah. Thanks so much for picking this, Justin. It's not one of the Scorsese films I have. This on is my not list, ever a so. film that I would have picked to watch ever. Yeah. It was a good you one. You nailed it. So thank you. Thanks for hanging out with us. Come back next week for another movie. Yeah. And if you want to be like Justin. Check out our Patreon link down below. You might be able to snag one of our special request slots. You can also get early access, full income, and access to both subscribe course. Next. Links up there. Check it out. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.